Welcome back to another Torch review. I have something interesting in today. It's the Rofus R1, brand new model. This was sent in via Rofus for review. And I'm just going to show you over the packaging as I usually do. They've gone a bit more upmarket with this one with a magnetic closing on the packaging. Um, gives it a more classy look, I suppose, but it's also quite useful to just look over this to see the items that we get included, as well as some of the specs. We can see on this that we have for uh, a low moonlight mode and we also have a high turbo mode up to 900 down to uh, 0.5 lumens so that's an improvement over the previous model we've also gone for a slightly different design on this we have the magnetic charging just to show you the extras that you get included a couple of spare o-rings also have the magnetic charging cable it's a flat cable and around 50 centimeters in length gold plated contact and the wrist strap adjuster this seems slightly different to previous ones from Rofus it has a bit more padding on it not that there's anything wrong with the old one and onto the headband silicone mount at the front we've gone for an army green and bright orange not my own personal choice of color but it looks okay now you can also take that off there is a cutout section on one of the adjusters so you can unloop the headband if you ever need to change that quality on this is good I'm pleased that I included this in the box and looking at the torch we can see quite a compact size. I put the specs on screen for you. Now the main feature with the Rofus torches has been the swivel head. So that's something which they've redesigned and they've got quite an interesting look. They've cut out sections on the side. There's the magnetic charging port. Whether that's to increase the surface area, I suspect, rather than adding the sort of grooves and grills that most makers do. Now the magnetic charging cable just snaps into place only downside with these magnetic charging cables is they're all different from different makers but it gives you an opportunity to charge the battery in the torch without having to take it out. We've got a fairly well recessed button and this swivel head function, the big standout feature, they've added a stainless steel bezel to that so you can rotate it around 90 degrees give you a right angle and any position in between it will work in as well and they also say you can use it single-handedly to twist it around and yes you can it's um, not too much resistance on this there's enough resistance so that it's not going to move by accident but you can swivel it around quite easily so that's handy single operation single hand use for that you can actually just do that I'm quite pleased that they've uh, refined that now this they've got an XML2 U2 LED with a smooth reflector. Note in the around the edges of the LED it is uh, white rather than the reflector material, so that should diffuse it a bit. We just unscrew it now and take out the protective cover for the battery. This is rated to 700 milliamps an hour, um, the 16340, same as the CR123A cells. There's your uh, magnet in the base cap. You see the contact point at the top. You can take that magnet out if you don't want that. Now when you put a battery in and screw it up, you can see the battery level indicator comes on and there's three levels with this. So I'm quite pleased to see that feature as well. Comparing it to the older model, which was the TR10, I assume this is a replacement. It was a pretty good little torch, but they've actually managed to make this a bit smaller. They've also changed the reflector. They've gone from the textured one to the smooth reflector. So we'll have a look at that later on and see how that performs. Switch design is also different and the clip as well. The clip did great a bit on the TR10 when you unscrewed it on the base cap. So they've changed the clip design as well. There's quite a lot of changes to this. You didn't have any way of charging the TR10. You had to take the battery out. Now I'm just going to show you putting it into the head strap. The silicone on this is quite, um, quite a bit of resistance to it. So it's not going to flop around and you can leave the clip on. It's going to be easier with the clip off, but either way it will hold firmly no problem. So what I would suggest with this is angling it down a bit so you can get to the button position and then twisting the head around to the angle that you want. It's going to be a compromise with a dual use torch like this. But that swivel head mechanism is something which I think is a really good idea. Just show you here fitted to the head strap. So if you angle it down a bit and then swivel the head around, you'll be able to use it quite perfectly normally as you would do a normal head torch. And indeed, you could always do other things like wrap it around your wrist or attach it to something as well. The swivel head function is the key selling point here. Now, operation, very straightforward with this, very much like the O-lights that I've used. Single press on, off, push and hold, then release for the power level that you want. There is a moonlight mode. You just push it in and hold it in slightly. 
and that will come into the moonlight mode. If you continue to hold it, you go into the lockout mode. The only change I'd make here is it would be nice to see if you are in the lockout mode, if the LED flashed up. Instant access to turbo, you can double press. That's from on and off. And then we can triple press to get into the strobe modes and then push and hold. And then it will go automatically to the next strobe mode. We have two with this particular torch. You can also do a lockout mechanically just by twisting the base cap because the threads are anodized. You can also remove the clip and reverse that around as well. Personally find it's perfectly, perfectly fine in its standard position. Now compare it to the S1R Baton, which is another nice torch that I've used quite a lot. It is a bit bigger, it has to be said. They both have magnetic charging in different positions. And once you've swiveled the head around on the Rofus, it's similar in size to the Olight. Pros and cons with both of these torches, They've also gone for a different design with the Olight. They have the optical lens on the front, which sort of gives you a big, wider, diffused spread in the central point. I'm just going to show you the user manual in case you want to have a look through that. I always include this in the video in case you want to reference any of the points. And this will just guide you through the operation as I've showed you previously myself. So you can always pause that and have a look if you need to. Magnetic base is strong. No problems at all with this. It grips very firmly and showing you rotating the head around. That's a unique feature to this series of torches, which I think comes into its own, both as the magnetic torch and when it's attached as a head torch. That's a very useful feature to have on a torch, in my opinion. So no problems with the magnetic base, very good grip on that. This is the weight for you, about 96 grams, with all of it included, including the headband and 3.4 ounces if you prefer Imperial. Just a few shots now to show you the torch attached to the headband. Good fit and comfort on this. You're not going to have any problems at all. I was quite pleased overall with the fit and finish with the headband. You can see the different angles there. Quite happy to leave the clip on with this. Waterproof test, no problems at all. Left it in there for half an hour. And onto the battery. Came in at 786, which is the highest I've seen. I ran the test three times and still got very close to that figure. So they've obviously improved them. And it was charging around 440 milliamps, which is about what I charge a battery of this type at. I'm going to do some quite extensive beam shots compared to other torches now. And I'll come back at the end with some thoughts and a conclusion.
Just a few closing thoughts with the Rovis. I remember the first swivel head torch that I used from the company um, was about a year ago and I thought this was a good idea. I'm quite amazed nobody else has gone with the idea and run with it and Rovis have stuck with it. Now I've given them feedback, I'm sure other people have, that have reviewed their torches about how to improve them and there were a couple of sticking points for me. Lack of moonlight mode was one of them and they've addressed that and the headband they were advertising it on their site with the transformer heads the tr series and this is the successor to that so i felt you know it was a good idea to just include that in the package it may put the price up slightly but it gives users that dual functionality right out of the box and in most areas ropus have done a really good job on this I've pretty much nailed it as far as the user interface is concerned. Excellent beam output, a bit on the warmer side as well. So if you dislike cool tints, you'll be happy there. A couple of points would add the reflective strips to the headband. Also prefer to have the mode memory for the moonlight included. Would be nice to have the LED show when it's in lockout. But in every other area, I think it's very deserving of praise. And this is pretty close to what I would design if I had the facilities to be able to make a torch. This is pretty close to what I'd be looking for in a torch. So thanks for watching the review. Don't forget to let me know what you think and I will catch up with you in my next video review.